If you have ever needed to add animated text or information on screen to complement an edit, then the slide revealers from Brett Effects might be exactly what you need. In this video, I'm going to review the slide revealers plugin from Brett Effects, and I'm going to show you some of the templates, how you can customize them, and how to create your own custom slide revealers. Plus, I'll also show you how to save some money on this amazing set of animated templates, or possibly even to win it for yourself. So hit that like button if you love a good giveaway. So there are 25 customizable templates to choose from, as well as two custom templates that you can use to create your own slide revealers. The custom templates essentially give you a blank slide revealer to work with that you can customize to suit your needs. A great option if you want to start from scratch, but I personally like starting with one of the templates and then customizing it from there. Maybe you shoot and edit real estate videos and you need to put information on screen of the details of the home. Or maybe you shoot travel videos and you want a cool looking animated title. Or you want to create a call to action by encouraging people to listen to your podcast, to buy your new book, to add a quote to your video, or maybe you just need to show your client's business details on screen. Either way, these slide revealers allow you to easily and quickly add professional looking animations to your videos. Let's have a look at a real estate example. I have these few shots here of a home for sale, and I'll go ahead and drag the real estate template on top of my footage, and I'll retime it to fit these three shots here. You'll see that this animates on here in the beginning, and we've got something that looks like that. Now we can go ahead and just double click on the top of the inspector window here to expand that view so we can see more of the parameters that we're going to change here. And let's have a look at the first section, which is animation. We can choose to animate this in or out. So if I go to the front here and I turn this off, you'll see it doesn't animate in, it just appears right at the beginning on that first frame. So I'll leave this set to animate in and out, but I can also adjust the speed here, which determines how quickly this animates in and out. Next, we have the split section, and we can change the offset, which determines how much the footage moves left and right, either side of the split revealer. We can also adjust the curve, we can adjust the position of this graphic, and we can adjust the angle as well if we want to kind of skew it like that. You can change the size, and you can choose how prominent that drop shadow is. With the border, which is these two little borders here and this one over here, we have a few different options. You can just have a line on both sides, you can choose to have the line on the right or the left, or you could have a rough border like that, and you could also choose to have that just on one side if you like. I kind of like the line on just the right hand side, so I'm going to go with that. Then that animated line that comes in is this line over here, so you can also change a few properties there. You can either take the line off, or you can change the end cap. I think I'll go with a round end cap on this example. You can adjust the width if you want. And let's just go back here so we can see our border. And we can adjust the color as well. Let's find a neutral color, something like this purpley gray wall. And I think the color for the second border looks good. So we'll close this. And for the text, we've got a couple of options here. You can skew the text to the angle that you've changed over here in the split section. And you can adjust things like the position of the text, the scale of the text, all that sort of thing. And then when it comes to the text, you can obviously just come in here and change this to whatever you like. And we're gonna make this home a little bit more expensive. Maybe it's half a million dollars. And it's actually a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. And you can obviously go ahead and change the details here as well. If I scroll down here, we have a couple more options. We can change this bar. You can turn it on or off. Let's just leave it on for now. And you can change things like the bar width and the bar height. You can also change things like the shape color, which is the shape here at the bottom. In terms of the art here, we have it set to house, which is essentially this little house. I've also grabbed another house icon here. So what I'm going to do is choose art drop zone, and then I'm going to select this clip from that drop zone and apply it. I'm going to scale this down. Let's scale the inside of the drop zone a little bit as well. Scale this down and move this over there. So I can incorporate a logo or any graphic of my choice into these templates. The video section allows you to adjust what this video looks like on either side of the graphic. So you could blur it if you want, which is quite handy if you want to emphasize this information and have the viewer focus less on the visuals here. And another thing you can do is lighten this clip up and even apply a tint. And you can change the color of that tint as well. Let's go to something like a reddish orange. So that looks really cool, but let's say I want to be able to see the footage properly. I'll just reset those. And I've just noticed we have three bedrooms here, which looks a bit odd. So I'll just 
change that back to yellow. And lastly, we have the background section. You can change it to any one of these options. What's quite nice is to sometimes show the original video underneath, which is nicely blurred, or you could even add a drop zone and add another image under there if you had photos of the house or something like that that you wanted to include. And then you obviously have all the drop zone parameters like tint, blur, pan and zoom that you can use to customize that drop zone to suit your needs. So as you can see, there's a lot you can do to customize these graphics. So let's have a look at what we just created. If you want to stand a chance to win this awesome set of slide revealers for yourself, make sure you click on the giveaway link below and follow the steps to stand a chance to be one of three winners. Now, this pack of slide revealers is currently on sale for 30% off for a limited time only. So if at the time of watching this, you've missed out on the giveaway or the sale, be sure to check out the description down below, which I'll keep updated with any potential future discounts. If you like this plugin, I'm sure you will also enjoy this video on the Splits 2 plugin, which is also from BrettFX. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next one.